don't just get me like it looks like I'm the only person in the car. Gotta get, yeah, get the mustache in there. Yeah. We are driving up to Tarantula Hill Brewing in Thousand Oaks where they shot um, Back to the Future. What did they shoot? Kennedy. <laughs> One of them. They shot Back to the Future in Thousand Oaks? No. No. Oh. Did they? You just said that. I don't know. I'm trying to make the content interesting. It's just too- By lying to just, your viewers? It's just two assholes with mustaches driving in a f***ing Ford. No, no, no. So this is the second to last show before the special. And I had a call, uh, very productive, productive. Bless me. I had a very productive call with Greg Fitzsimmons last night about the structure of my set, which was like, He's like, are you open to notes? I'm like, yes, please. I mean, this is a guy like, and you can attest to this too. Like he's a guy who's been doing it for 30 years. He's like, I think he's won four Emmys. Greg will be there tonight. He's, he's the director. Adam uh, Horner, the producer will be there. Nick will be there. Oh, inconsequential, but he'll be there nonetheless. Stage. Nick, put those there. And then put the other, yeah, put that one there. Yep, exactly. Yep, yep, perfect. We were originally supposed to be outside, and I saw this tent, and I was like, can we just move the whole thing in the tent? And it just, you know, it'd be better inside. There was a douchebag here. Hey. Doesn't put any pressure on me, the fact that Greg and Adam are here watching, taking notes. I have a tattoo of a horse guy, for example. It's not stressful at all. You're taking notes while up on stage. <laughs> not judging. I have it in non-judgmental <laughs> mode. <laughs> if I see your head go down, I know. Oh, that was horrible. I have a tattoo. Uh, okay, so my wife Mel, she's the producer of the show. So when I was up on stage, I could see um, like everyone was kind of like in silhouette, except for Greg, who's on his computer. So I could see the glow of his face. I can see every facial reaction that he has. And whenever there's a joke that like didn't land, he'd just go, okay, let me just, and you could see him like oh, shaking his head, like just mumbling things. No, no, like I, mean, I, I put all of my strength into not doing this. Yeah. I didn't do that once. Adam did it, Adam did it. I was like, thank God Adam was hammered. Otherwise, like I can't, I can't take criticism from two, two people I admire. I can't do it. Oh man, last night was, last night was nuts. Um, it was supposed to be inside, ended up being outside. It was in a tent. It was cold. Um, and that's not a big deal for me, but I know that it was kind of cold for the audience. And then I had uh, Adam and, and Greg there, which just added to the pressure of the night. Plus, I restructured the the set, the order of things, and then changed up a few of the jokes um, based on Greg's suggestions, which I think are amazing. But it was just so much to process like in one night um, that I'm now going to the doctor. It's a scheduled appointment, but I'm gonna go and get a checkup and then head off to do uh, crafts and crafts today. So that sh <laughs> I'm not gonna go to the doctor. I'm not gonna sit there in a waiting room where everyone's got COVID, a little bit of a germaphobe, not too much, but enough to to understand that how much I have riding on this special, how much money and time and resources and favors and everything I've invested in this special where uh, it's it would be really a dumb risk to go and have a checkup and, and expose myself to that. So, okay. Rescheduling a doctor's appointment for, for I don't know when. Um, I haven't gotten a, um, what's it called when they put their finger up your butt? Um, prostate exam? I haven't got one. I haven't got one yet, and I'm 51 years old, and that's stupid. I don't think it was going to happen today, but I don't know. It was going to be a discussion. So uh, now uh, I'm off to Crafts and Crafts. I have two guests today. Uh, Joel Stein. Uh, a buddy of mine who is, he's a prolific writer, uh, and I'm excited to talk with him. And then another writer, my another buddy of mine, Dan Dunn, is my second guest. Fly Queen! Fly Queen! Yay! Hi, Bobby! 
I know, I know, I know, I know. Oh, wow. Oh, look who decided to come. Don't even, Zane. This, this is for what you. Is, what is this? Well, you know, you're Do dealing with all your, finally? you're dealing with all your wedding stuff then. And, and I got this for you. I got what a dog. <laughs> yeah. What the hell is that about? Oh, God damn, I'm trying to lose weight. I before. know, that's why I gave to you. <laughs> you want to show people, they don't have need to wait to watch it on Crafts of Crafts. What we did, we made, we made secret compartments, books. He, what does he just want to show you is that he oh, made a book, oh, 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 book. With, a, with a secret compartment. You could keep your, um, what are those like crypto wallets? What do they look like? Are they little, just little jump drives? They look like USB drives. Yeah. You could literally keep billions of dollars in there. Is that accurate? For sure. Yeah. Yeah. So... Don't show people the name of the book. If you want to see the name of the book, if you're a thief, uh, watch this episode of Crafts and Crafts. Bring in the love. I know you want. Just hug me. Oh, I just, are we taking a picture? No, it's a, it's a video. Just hug me. Hug me. God damn it, Dan. You always have to put. Thank you. There it is. Quick, come on. Bring it in. Bring it in. So Dan Dunn, Dan, who you might know, he was a guest in my podcast. He's done things. We talked about it. And then, yeah, then. And then uh, Rick is the owner of the best barbecue restaurant in Los Angeles called Baby Blues. And it's, it's, it's the hottest restaurant. Too soon? It's so hot, it, it burned down. But, 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 it, but it caught on fire. But they're reopening in August and I'm gonna be the master of ceremonies. We didn't talk about this, I'm just presenting it right now. And it's gonna be probably the best day ever. That would be great. Really? Yeah. Can you sign something? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I just realized that Shane is getting married next week, which means that I am the one editing this episode. So I hope you're enjoying it. Check out this cool edit. Good day today. Three days until the special. Three days. I would say that the Super Bloom is at its peak. Now it all... Now it all goes downhill. Lots to do today. Friday, the show is tomorrow. Uh, we can't load into the brewery, meaning bring all our equipment in until uh, 8.30 tonight because they are functioning restaurant and brewery. So first stop is at Enterprise Rent-A-Car to see if I can get a bigger vehicle to put all of the, the pipe and drape, pipe, drape, what it sounds like, blackout curtains to uh, block out all the light coming from all of the windows. Studio City Enterprise has a Tahoe, but what I have to get are these 10 foot pieces. And what I'm trying to do is avoid having to go and rent a box truck like a U-Haul. <sighs> I'm now at a place called Surreal uh, where they rent out production vans and I ran into Adam who's picking up our other van <laughs> for the camera stuff. So we're now just gonna get two vans, it'll be easy. Okay. Wait, bring that dog back. Hey, oh. hey, hey, what's up buddy? What can you run to? You know what, your legs aren't long enough. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna go drop this off at LA Rag uh, across the street and then let them fill it up, drive home, let Jason come and pick it up and then meet me at the house to load some more stuff in. All right, that worked out. That only took me uh, two hours, but that's fine. I had more of my day allocated for that. So um, yeah, so now they'll fill this car up and then Jason will come and pick it up and he'll come by the house and I'll throw the rest of my equipment in there and I'm gonna pretend right now that it's not 112 degrees in my car. <sighs> it is 1 p.m. I got the speakers, the monitor, which is the, the wedge, the stage, the one that I can hear myself on, and the stand. This is where the show will live. Two hard drives. Is this enough to contain that much comedy? That's the, the jokes are better than that, I promise you. All right, this is it. I'm heading down to the brewery for load-in. What happened? Um, which is bringing all of the gear and equipment and cameras down there. So we have the stage and the lighting truss arriving at 8.30. The curtains, all that kind of stuff, uh, he'll be getting there at eight. Adam and Ian with all of the camera gear, 
will be arriving at eight. Uh, on this drive, which should be an hour and 16 minutes, I'm going to play the audio of my most recent set um, when I did the show at Tarantula Hill Brewing in Thousand Oaks um, because I changed the, the structure and a lot of the tags, a lot of the, the jokes around uh, as per Greg's advice, which was amazing. It is now nighttime. <laughs> I've just listened to my uh, a recording of the last special that I did um, one and a half times, which is great. I took a few notes. Now we're pulling into Golden Road and it is packed. We didn't expect this. So we have to uh, wait until the place is empty before we can start loading in. And there is a lot to do, a lot to do tonight. We just got here and the place closes at nine. We'll start loading in, in a little bit, but just to give an idea of like what it looks like tonight versus what it'll look like tomorrow or even tonight when we start loading everything in, um, it's gonna be transformed from a brewery into a stage. Van one, van two. There's like still people that are here going like, uh, when are they gonna kick us out? <laughs> this is a video of Ian building weapons. Hey. Uh, what do you think? I think it's amazing. I think you got big space and I told it. Tight yeah. It looks big now, but they'll stop that before the show, right? That's. I, I'm just. I had them do it when you talk. Yeah. <laughs> Greg's here right now. We're talking about uh, camera position. Well, he went on a rant. I should have recorded about how handsome I was, but I just like it, it was weird if I pulled the camera out when you were doing that. Dude, I wish you wouldn't put that on the phone. These, these are things that happen between a director and a star. You did it. You, you, you nailed it. Yeah. I need to fall off the ladder. Picking camera angles. I'm, I am my stand in. Oh, yeah, we weren't even seeing the wine. So, this is the fabric. Yeah, that's the fabric to wrap around these, these poles, basically. I'm so tired right now. <laughs> but I have to wait until things get done. Probably get out of here very shortly. Leaving all this stuff. I can show it in this video because it's after the fact, but like, this is just. <laughs> All right, this is it tonight. I was planning on being here at uh, 10.30 tomorrow and uh, Adam and Ian and Greg are like, no asshole, <laughs> you are just stay away. Greg's got it, Ian's got it, Adam's got it, everybody else has it. I will be here, I guess, at two. 1 a.m., not, not good. Not the time I wanted to be leaving, but. All right. We are driving down to the water and the sea. Are you approaching today any differently than you would a diff another show? No, I, the stakes aren't as high for me though. So I'm, 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 I'm just going into Oh, it. then they are for me, yeah. And just doing two shows and it's just gonna be fun. Perfect, well done. Hey, mm. good job. Thanks. Mm, let's go this way. <laughs> how, are how are you doing? <laughs> We're doing hand pounds. Yeah, we can do. We can do a hug though. Uh, only on, vid on video. Has been seen to the big act for the last couple of years and travel all around the world together, all around the country. And uh, he's fucking hilarious. I see him in the club in LA all the time. Please welcome to Nick Jerry! time I will perform this set 
ever. I'll get, emo I'll get emotional after the show. Let's go, fucking, let's go make some comedy. <laughs> you got him and he's got me. All right, we're ready to go. We got this.